I just can't see how anybody could hate her, so I have no idea how could anybody do this to her. Tonight, a new search and new information on a possible hate crime as the family of a murdered Iraqi woman in El Cajon demands justice. Good evening. Shaima Alawadi was the mother of five, and she came to the United States for a better life. But she was beaten to death in her own home. News 8's Richard Allen is live in Lakeside tonight with new information on who police might be looking for. Richard? Well, Carlo, that's right. A neighbor of the family tells News 8 that he witnessed a young man running from the scene of the crime Wednesday morning at around 1030. That's about 45 minutes before Shema Alawadi's daughter called 911 to report her mother's murder. Now, according to the neighbor, that that man who ran from the home was wearing a black and blue hooded sweatshirt and carrying a medium-sized cardboard box similar to the one a door-to-door -door salesman might carry. And here today, as family and friends gather to say goodbye to this beloved mother of five, they also say they want answers. We will get to the bottom of this soon. As the investigation into 32-year-old Shema Alawadi's murder continues, investigators Tuesday removed bags of evidence as they executed a second search warrant on her Skyview Street home in El Cajon, where the Iraqi mother of five was found bludgeoned with a tire iron last Wednesday morning. Authorities also towed away this Nissan van that had been parked in front of the home, registered to Shema's husband, 47-year-old Kasim Alhamidi. <laughs> At a memorial service for Shema Tuesday afternoon, a plea from Shema's husband translated by her 15-year-old son. What are you getting out of this and why did you do it? Police say Shema's 17-year-old daughter had been sleeping upstairs at the time of the murder and discovered her mother's body, along with a threatening note calling the family terrorists and ordering them to go back home. How could you have so much hatred in your heart to do this to anybody? A representative for Iraq's prime minister attended Tuesday's service. This family member of us was killed in a cold-blooded way, and she is innocent and a victim. A victim who had fled Iraq to the United States in the mid-90s, hoping for a better life. We escaped death in Iraq. We came here as refugees just so she can end up being killed in such a brutal way. And Shema Alawadi's body is now being flown to a rock for burial. In the meantime, El Cajon police say they are investigating all aspects of this case, including the possibility of a hate crime. But they also say, based on the evidence gathered so far, they do believe this is an isolated incident. Carlo? Thank you, Richard. A candlelight vigil is being planned for tomorrow night at 7 o'clock in front of the family home in El Cajon.